Let's talk about rodent control in the chicken coop today. I have kind of gone around a circle in this mouse thing in the chicken coop. I started out thinking maybe we could try natural methods. I also have cats, which I thought might help. Um, then I thought maybe we could just coexist, but mice are gross, they stink, they carry disease, and we really had some problems with mice this summer. And when one went running up a screen in front of my face in the chicken coop the one day, I just decided I'd had enough. So I want to share with you a few of my favorite ways to control rodents in the chicken coop. Plus, they carry disease, like I said. They will waste your feed. They multiply out of hand. And if you have cats like I do that don't kill the mice but bring them in the house alive and set them free, you can quickly have a mouse problem that is just out of hand. So let me show you some of the, my favorite ways to control rodents in my chicken coop. One of my favorite traps are these tomcat traps and they are so simple to use. I don't like the scary snappy ones. These you just prop open. It has a little bait circle on them that you can add your bait and then I just prop them up in my chicken coop. What is important about mouse traps is that you keep them somewhere where the chickens cannot get to them no matter what. Whether you're putting them in maybe a piece of PVC pipe. I have a sh some shelves completely blocked by my nest boxes. They're behind the nest boxes and no chickens can get in there and it runs the entire length of the nest box. So I slip these back, back there so I know that the chickens can't get into them or any other animals for that matter except for the mice, which is who I want in there. Um, you can use cheese or peanut butter or whatever bait you like, but I use this Tomcat Gel Mouse Attractant that you just drop right into the little circle on that mouse trap, and I find that works really well. I just leave all this in my chicken coop so I'm ready to go. And if I catch a mouse in there, I can easily dump it out. There's no prying it out or anything. They're just in there. I hold it over the trash and open it. The mouse falls out. Even I can handle that. Like I said, when we had mice so bad this summer, I finally resorted to mouse poison, which I didn't ever want to do. But we also saw a rat a few years ago and absolutely didn't want to start that. So we learned about a poison called Just One Bite from our feed store. And we got that and learned how to use it and haven't seen any evidence of that rat since then. And he was very hard to trap. So we were sold on Just One Bite. Unfortunately, you have to buy it in a huge bulk package, so we'll have that stuff forever. But what I did for my chicken coop was I bought a small bait station, and I put that just one bite inside there. And that's the key is it's supposed to be just one bite, so you don't need a lot. But I also have that slidden way back behind my nest box where no one else can get into it. And I'll tell you, we I'm not seeing any evidence of mice out there. I'm sure that there is a mouse or two but it is nothing like it was this summer. And if I, I, I just keep that stuff going, keep that bait out there and deal with mice when I see them. And finally, there's a glue trap back in the back that I don't like glue traps either, but like I said, some of these were baby mice in my coop and I was having trouble catching them. So I would even resort to a glue trap if necessary. I didn't catch anything in my glue trap fortunately, but it's back there. So let me know in the comments things that you use to detour rodents in your chicken coop. Thanks for watching.